Hope you've had a lovely weekend and had a chance to relax and uh, step away from your work for a while. But it's Monday, so back to it. And here is your introductory video for what you're going to be doing in math this week. Uh, so to continue with topic nine and period six, we're going to be learning about something called changes in quantity. So what you're going to be, what, what your objective is, is you're going to learn about changes in quantity and how to use equations to standardize and create tables. Now, that sounds a little bit complicated, but that's the goal at the end of the lesson, and I'm sure you will fully understand. So let's get started. What is a change in quantity? Well, we know what quantity is, right? If I have four oranges in my bag, what's the quantity of oranges? Four, okay? It's just the amount of something that we have, all right? So a change in quantity is when we have one focus amount that changes depending on a relationship with a second focus. I know, that sounds so confusing, but in a second you will fully understand what I mean. And to do that, we're going to use a simple triangle. Okay, now we all know what the triangle is, and what quantities can we see in a triangle? Well, we know that there's one triangle, right? But what about other quantities? What other things could we count on a triangle? Think about it. Okay, so focus one is how many triangles are there. So we know that there is one triangle. So our focus one or our quantity one is one, one triangle. But what about focus two? Now focus two is how many sides the triangle has. Well, we know that triangles have one, two, three sides. All triangles have three sides. So focus two is three. So focus one or quantity one is how many triangles there are. And focus two or quantity two is how many sides that it has. Okay, now we have a little change in quantity. One triangle, three sides. So let's take that a little bit further. Okay, once we have this basic information, we can now measure changes in quantity when increasing the quantity of one of the focus. So let's increase a quantity. All right, so how many triangles do we have now? Nice, easy question. We know that there are two triangles. But now we have two triangles, our second focus changes. So if we have two triangles, how many sides do we have now? Yep, easy. Uh, if we have three sides per triangle and there are two triangles, there are six sides. So we can see that the quantity has now changed quite drastically, okay? And we can actually see a pattern forming. So we know that one triangle is the same as one times three sides. And two triangles is two times three sides, which is six. Okay, nice and easy so far, hopefully. Let's move on. I'm gonna challenge you now. So what are the quantities for focus one and focus two on this slide? So there are your triangles. I'm gonna give you a few seconds, see if you can figure it out for me. So what's focus one and what's focus two? Off you go. Okay, so it should have been nice and easy for you. We know that there are three triangles, so our focus one is three. And if we have three triangles, we have nine sides altogether. So we're adding to that pattern now. So one triangle, one times three. Two triangles is two times three. And three triangles is three times three, which is nine. Well done. Okay, let's put all this information into a table now because if we start or if we continue to count these quantities we're going to get so much information we don't know where to put it okay we don't want to uh, visualize each quantity every time otherwise we'll end up with hundreds of triangles all over the place okay um, so we want to put it into a nice neat table and we can do it with something like this, all right? Nice and simple, just two columns, or sorry, two rows. 
So we have the top row, which is number of triangles, and the bottom row is number of sides. So the ones at the top, okay, we've already done one triangle, two triangles, and three triangles. Okay, but we're gonna use a little bit of math trickery to find four to seven triangles. Okay, so we know that one triangle has three sides, two has six, and three has nine. But we, how can we use these, or these quantities, to find out the answers for these without even thinking of a triangle? Well, we can do it with a formula. So our formula for this is the number of triangles times three equals the number of sides. So this formula is actually your little introduction to um, uh, to algebra. Okay, so algebra is basically replacing numbers with symbols. Okay, so we know that one triangle times three is three. Two triangles times three is six, and three triangles times three is nine. So if we have four triangles, how many number of sides do we have? We just need to know our three times table. So four times three, yep, you guessed it, is 12. Five triangles, would be 15 sides, six, 18, and seven, 21. Okay, uh, if you're following so far, well done. If you need to go back to any of the parts of this video, do that now, uh, or just continue with me. And you can watch the video as many times as you like, but let's carry on. That's the basics of changes in quantity, okay? And we can use change in quantity in many, many ways. Okay, the first one being for money. If we're buying things, we can use changes in quantity to understand how much uh, something's going to cost. So for example, if one video game costs $20, how much would five video games cost? You know, we know that if one is 20, then five video games would be $100 because we just used a change in quantity, all right? We can also use change in quantity for, for visual stuff, stuff like this uh, calendar here. So if we say, well, if we're on April 1st, okay, and what is a change of quantity for the number below it? Well, one and eight, we know that the change in quantity there is seven, okay? And that shows a pattern in our calendars, okay? 2 and 9, the changing quantity is also 7, 3 and 10, 4, 11, 5 and 12. So if you ever look at a calendar, the number below each other number okay, has a difference or a change of 7. Okay, We can also use changes in quantity for area. So an area of a square, okay, the formula would be the side multiplied by the side. Yeah. So if it was 2 times 2, Okay, we know that the area is four, and then we could put that in a table, okay, to show the changes in quantities depending on the size of the square as they get bigger. Okay. Also, there are professionals and scientists around the world right now using changes in quantity for very important things like the coronavirus, okay, COVID-19. If you've ever watched one of the, um, uh, the special broadcasts that they do, you can see lots of graphs and they show changes in quantity every day. So there you go, a real life situation using what you're learning about right now. Okay, here's your task for today then. Okay, you're going to choose a shape, all right? Not a triangle, that'd be too easy because you've already learned about triangles. So choose a ch uh, any shape you want apart from a circle, okay? Um, so it could be a square, uh, it could be a rectangle, it could be a pentagon, uh, anything you want that has more than one side, okay? And you're going to complete a change in quantity chart like the one earlier, okay? So this is a snapshot of the template that you're going to use, and you can find this in the assignment, on the assignment page in the Google Classroom, okay? So you're going to fill this in, I'll have a, I'll give you a quick tour. Okay, so it says, what is your shape? You're going to write your shape here and how many sides it has. Then you're going to use this chart to, to map your changes in quantity. Okay, so I've done one for you. You can go up. You, you don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You If you want, you go one, three, five, seven, you know, and you could put any quantities in there you want because the formula 
that you're going to find, okay, is going to help you find the quantities or the, the number of sides, okay, in your shape. Below, you need to write an equation for your change in quantity for the work you've done. If you're struggling, just watch this video again and you'll be you'll easily be able to find your equation. Okay, so that's it. Uh, good luck with your assignment today. And if you have any questions, please ask me. Uh, you can ask me later on in our online session as well. Okay, uh, good luck, guys, and speak to you later.